Have you ever wondered how companies determine the true cost of their products or services? In this fast-paced, data-driven modern world of business, getting this right can mean the difference between success and failure. Now, in this episode, we're going to explore the game-changing concept of activity-based costing, or ABC, and how it has revolutionized the way organizations manage their costs and critical decisions. But ABC isn't just a relic of the past. It's more relevant than ever in the age of big data and AI and machine learning. So get ready to discover how the powerful tool is evolving to meet the challenges of the digital era and unlock new opportunities for businesses of all sizes. Now, whether you're a seasoned finance professional or just curious about the inner workings of modern companies, this episode is for you. So let's dive in and uncover the secrets of activity-based costing. Welcome to Business Model Hackers, the podcast where each week we're going to examine real-world applications of concepts and frameworks in business. Now, Sam Shrine was with us here as a former top-tier management consultant who traded the security of the lucrative career he had going for the dynamic world of entrepreneurship, and this podcast is part of that journey. Now, you should know that Sam brings with him a wealth of experience, having advised everyone from Fortune 500 executives to ambitious startups. He even extended his expertise to nonprofits in strategic and management roles, and that included also helping governments. So strap in and let's get started. All right, Sam. I'm super interested in activity-based costing. It's definitely something I have not heard much about, and I can't wait for you to break it down for us. I was wondering if you could maybe start with what it is and how it compares to what would be traditional costing uh, as a method uh, used at its time of introduction. Sure. Activity-based costing is, again, an ABC abbreviation, you know, which is a, you know, kind of fits it well, ABC of, of accounting almost. It was introduced in the late 80s, and by Robert Kaplan and uh, Robin Cooper. It was in response to the limitation of traditional costing method. At the time, traditional costing systems were designed for the manufacturing era, where direct labor and materials were the primary cost drivers. But as businesses evolved and became more complex, indirect costs such as like overhead, support activities, started to present like a big, a significant portion of the entire costs. So as a result, traditional costing methods like absorption absorption costing or volume-based allocation often was, was not reflecting or accurately reflecting these indirect costs in the products and services when they were costed into it. So this led to kind of a distorted cost information, which also resulted in poor decision-making. As you know, like if you price something, you price it based on cost. And if you have improper costs, your results may be impacted as a result and you may have a suboptimal resource allocation. So it has a lot of negative negative implications if you don't have proper costing. So as companies were struggling to understand their true costs and profitability in an increasingly competitive and dynamic business environment, the introduction of ABC revolutionized accounting at the time by shifting the focus from volume-based cost allocation to activity-based. It's a simple thing. I mean, people that already are very familiar with this may say, well, you know, I know what this is. It's it's basic. I think this episode has something to offer because, you know, activity-based costing has a place even a more important role in the, in the future is in technological advancement and, and with the introduction of AI, which we'll hopefully get into in this episode. So actually what happened, instead of treating indirect costs as a homogeneous pool and allocating that indirect cost based on a single driver, let's say, for example, labor hours or machine hours or whatever. Activity-based costing recognized that different products and services consume different activities and resources, these shared activities. So by identifying the activities performed within an organization, assigning costs to these activities based on the resource consumption, ABC provided a more accurate, relevant cost allocation. This detailed cost information kind of enabled managers to understand the true cost of producing and delivering products and services and the profitability, obviously, of indi- to individual customers or product lines and market segments, etc. Interesting. Uh, do we have any data on what the impact of introducing ABC was across the board? Well, at its time, you know, at the time of introduction, it had a significant impact on various aspects, right? From pricing, like I said, with more accurate cost information, you know, companies could set better pricing that actually reflect the production and delivery costs, and as a result, improve obviously profitability and competitiveness instead of pricing too high or too low. The other thing is potentially product mix, right? For example, to help identify the high cost, low profit products and services, enabling companies to make more uh, or better decisions about their product mix and focus and 
provide more profitable offering. It also helps in the process improvement. For example, if you highlight the cost of specific activity-based costing, facilitated the identification and efficiencies and opportunities for process improvement, uh, which also led overall cost reduction and increased productivity. Another aspect is resource allocation, which provides insights into the consumption of resources by different products, services, or customers, and enables better resource allocation and capacity management. At its core, the advantage was in its ability to provide a more accurate and actionable view of cost in complex business environments. It basically challenged the traditional paradigms of accounting and provided a framework for most companies to make informed decisions based on a deeper understanding of their cost structures and drivers. Over time, ABC evolved and now it's an integral part of ERPs, right? And other management tools and technologies. So ERPs now can provide even ERPs, which is enterprise resource planning for those that don't know, can provide comprehensive and real-time cost information. So with the change or the shift over into ERP, is the ABC method still as relevant today as it was during its introduction? If so or not, why? Why? What happened? The fundamentals of ABC remain the same, but the context in which it operates has evolved significantly. In the digital age today, businesses are grappling with complex supply chains, diverse product portfolios, rapidly changing customer needs. So traditional costing methods, which were designed for a simpler, let's say more stable business landscapes, often struggle to keep pace with these challenges. Activity-based costing, on the other hand, is inherently flexible and adaptable. So by focusing on activities and resource consumption, rather than arbitrarily allocating costs, ABC can provide a more nuisance and dynamic view of cost that reflects the realities of modern business operations. Additionally, the rise of big data, advanced analytics has created new opportunities for activity-based costing to deliver even a greater value. With vast amounts of financial and operational data at businesses today, you can now apply ABC principles with unprecedented granularity and precision. So assuming, of course, you can make sense of the data. For example, by combining activity-based costing with machine learning algorithms, you can identify cost patterns and drivers that were previously hidden, enabling companies to make more informed decisions about pricing, product mix, and resource allocation. But it's important to recognize that implementing ABC effectively requires more than just technical expertise. It requires a culture of continuous improvement, collaboration, and data-driven decision-making. So organizations must be willing to invest the necessary training, technology, and change management to fully realize the benefits of ABC. You know, you've brought up uh, AI and now machine learning throughout our conversation. I wanted to ask, how can we leverage AI in the context of ABC across the board? Well, I mean, AI has been reshaping industries and, and redefining what's possible in terms of data analysis, pattern recognition, decision making. I firmly believe that AI is poised to revolutionize the world of accounting and in particular, you know, through ABC. So I imagine that in the not distant future where AI algorithms can automatically or dynamically analyze vast amounts of financial and operational data and identify cost drivers and activity patterns with unprecedented speed and accuracy. So this is something that organizations have always struggled with, even with the introduction of enterprise resource planning. This revolution could enable businesses to generate real-time dynamic ABC models that adapt to changing conditions and provide instant insights into cost behavior and profitability. By leveraging machine learning and predictive analytics, AI-powered ABC systems could help businesses forecast future costs, for example, and performance, and even optimize resource allocation on the fly and simulate the impact of different business scenarios. For example, an AI-driven model could predict how changes in a product mix, customer demand, or supply chain disruptions could affect costs and profitability that enables managers to make proactive data-driven decisions. Moreover, AI could help democratize ABC by, by making it more accessible, user-friendly, small and medium enterprise. So with natural language processing and chatbot interfaces, even non-financial professionals could interact with activity-based costing systems and ask questions and receive insights in plain language in real time. I think also, lastly, it can play a role in dynamic pricing where prices could be optimized and even personalized according to more accurate cost data. In the future sounds incredible with, uh, with everything that's going on and i can't thank you enough for diving into uh, activity-based costing i think as we've seen activity-based costing as a, as far as takeaways are concerned it's not just some historical footnote but 
something that's dynamic and, and evolving as far as a tool is concerned. And I believe this can help businesses of all kinds navigate challenges and opportunities of the digital age. And it sounds like by embracing ABC and the power of data and technology, organizations are going to be able to unlock new levels like of efficiency, profitability, competitive advantage. So to me, it sounds like whether you're a business leader, finance professional, or simply someone who wants to learn more about activity-based costing and how it can help you drive success in your own organization, the right thing was turning into this episode. And that wraps up our discussion for today. Thank you so much for tuning into Business Model Hackers. For more insights and updates, please visit businessmodelhackers.com as always. And don't forget to follow our social channels. And remember that when you go to businessmodelhackers.com and join our email list, you get access to exclusive downloadable resources. And these materials are far more in-depth in terms of the information they offer and all the tools that we're covering here in the show. You're going to get far more by signing up and subscribing. Until next time.